Whew, cutting things short last time. Either way, let's just get going. Alright, so, one thing kind of awesome is now it will actually, um, the game keeps track of where am I going? We'll keep track of where your portals were placed so you can see where the portals are, um, which is really helpful. Unless you're at Island Corazon. But we jump out over here. Some and emergency we... testing may require prolonged interaction with legal military androids. Rest assured that all legal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Good. If you feel that a legal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self reporting form. A future Amateur again. Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Join. <laughs> I love that. I just love them. Um, they've all been given a copy of the laws of robotics to share. So that's lots of help. Uh, all right, pressing on I think we're on test four now. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. <laughs> Yeah, test number four. Test number four is kind of unique in the sense where it actually is a way that you can, there actually is a way that you can trap yourself. However, I've never managed to pull it off. So what you have to do is you basically have to drop down here, pull the portal, pull the portal over here, grab the box, and then get it through the orange portal, and it's incredibly difficult. You have trapped yourself. Congratulations. The exit door is now open. Well, fuck you too, game. <laughs> no, seriously, I mean, I I spent so much time trying to get that, and I just could not get it. I can't believe I actually finally got that. Right. Okay. Um, remember my last episode when I quickly mentioned Doug Ratman? This is the first official Doug Ratman uh, den. Right then. The Ratman then. Um, I'm not going to talk about Doug Ratman quite yet. There is a bit that I want to get through. Um, who knows, maybe I'll just do a video much later in the game where I just talk about the, con the correlation between this game and Half-Life, which I actually haven't seen. I really want to look at that. Um, and him. I can probably do that in just 10 minutes. Anyway, pressing onwards. Oh, so many notes. So many notes I have. <laughs> no, seriously, I, like, I was playing through this game, and I'm like, I'm gonna make notes of what everything happens that way I can better form me from when I want to end it. And I actually came out well, I mean. If the area <clears throat> is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Well, that's always fun. Okay. So, I mean, I can just plow through a lot of these tests. I mean, I'm not to this blind by any stretch of the image. Oh, shit, I forgot the box down there. I have to cut over here and catch it. I missed it. <coughs> that should have been a case where I used the wall. See, what happens is when you push this button, this thing comes up here and drops it. Prevents it from flying through. But that's the way I like to do it personally. It's kind of funny how you can destroy the cameras in this, but there's no achievement for destroying cameras. I mean, I've got like every achievement that you can get. In some way, I should say. You are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. And one of the things I'm right there, um, it's actually not important, but it's a nice little detail that I really like this game for. Cause, so just keep that in mind. I'll be sure to bring it up when it actually is relevant. Uh, but yeah, they. AI's like wheeling in that. Um, really well. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Wee hee, wee hee, wee hee. Wee hee. Wee hee. 
If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Great job, future starter. That means that you're old, something, 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 something. Box, don't be actually in it. Stop it, guys. Bam, smack into a wall. Smack into a wall. Huh? Whee! Wow, that's fun. Oh, no! Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are civil-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. And I'm gonna lie, I hope you guys didn't hear that. And if you're actually wondering what do you hope we didn't hear, I... Never mind. I'm just gonna shut up before I say something stu even more stupid. Oh, uh, I think I'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, next should be up seven. So yeah, we actually are just at the end of this video. Power remains for core testing protocols. All safety devices have been disabled. <laughs> the enrichment center respects your right to have questions yeah. or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. Ready? I'm sorry, I didn't think you actually had to be belong. Two. Three, that's high. It's, oh, it's that's too high, that. isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me, catch me, catch me! Ow! Ow. <laughs> I just love that. I am not dead. I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. panel. Right open. While your back was turned. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on, though. Where are we, Dave? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. Hello. Oh, no. Yes. Hello. No, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Why are you doing? No, thanks. We're good. Appreciate it. Right. Keep it moving. Keep moving. Well, believe it or not, we're actually going to be ending things off here. Maybe there's one last thing you have to say. Um, I guess I should do my outro. Um, but yeah, so, nah, I'll let him say his thing first and then I'll do my outro. But that was the last thing we're going to do in the episode. Next episode, we're going to have... Well, let's see. Probably to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. Did you say anything more, really? Oh, is that really all you're going to say? Well, as I've hopefully said somewhere in this project, in the first game, we took down the main computer of the Aperture Science Research Facility, GLaDOS. And he's basically, we're outside of her chamber now. So in the next episode, we're going to enter a chamber where, if she's awake, she'll most definitely kill us. We, and we only had a single portal this time. And it's like, we technically have the dual portal gun. We only have a single portal gun. So, holy shit, we're going to die next episode, probably. Oh, well, we're already at nine minutes. God, these per first two episodes have been really long, though. But next, from here on out, they'll be a bit shorter. I'm surprised it actually took so long. Oh, next one's, yeah, next one's much more. Next one's just over, it's going to be just over seven minutes. Either way, I'm done for today, guys. I will look forward to seeing you guys back here tomorrow. Actually, we probably will do PVZ tomorrow. Either way.